folks. How you doing? Russell True Results 303.com. Check out the website. Link in the description box. Got a couple free gifts there for you. One on nutrition, one on setting goals so you can accomplish what you need to accomplish. Free downloads. Check that out in the free gifts area. Mind, body, spirit, fitness, put in the healing, back in health. Coming at you today with a video on stretching and stretching that neck area, the neck into the shoulder. Because of course, we're sitting at a screen all day, watching TV. I find it myself when I'm reading a book, you know, you start to lean forward. Everything's getting really tight everywhere. Next thing you know, you can have headaches become, because of it. You start to have shoulder pain, chest pains shooting through the chest, maybe shooting through the mid back in between the shoulder blades. And that can all come from a tight neck area. So what can we do? to help loosen up those muscles. Because, you know, if you're like me as well, I keep a lot of tension in my shoulders. If you usually touch my traps and my neck area, it's really hard. They're activated almost at all times. So this is going to be a great stretch for you, a great video for you, if you're someone that also has these difficulties in your life. So first off, simple. We're just gonna turn our head. Right, make sure we're nice and loose. Kind of wiggle it out. I always like to wiggle it out. Just let your body know we're trying to loosen up, right? Just kind of wiggle it out. All right, nice and simple. We're just gonna turn our head. Right there, I can feel it coming down into even the end of my shoulder there. Same thing. You know, nice little neck rolls to loosen everything up. All right, so what we do first, we're going to put our hand, one hand, either one, don't matter, one arm, behind your back. So I've got my right one back, and then I'm just going to grab my actual wrist, a little bit above my wrist, my forearm. Then from here, I'm going to lean that same way as that other arm that's poking out, that elbow. Then same thing, now you can put your chin up. Once we move that chin up, so if we're here sideways, it's going to come straight up into the ear, behind the ear for me. Once you put that chin up, now it's coming up and attacking the front of the chin because we're exposing that area to the stretch. Next thing you can go down. Now it kind of flattens out and comes into that trap. So same thing, we're here, hold it for a few, tilt that chin up, get up into the front of the neck, side, and then down, same thing. This arm, we're gonna go behind. You can see right here, grab. Now we're doing the same thing over here. Looking forward, look up. What I find too when I'm looking up is let that jaw drop and open up. And you get an even deeper stretch even into that jaw a little bit. For those of you who maybe grind your teeth at night or something, you get a lot of jaw tension and pain, that can be helpful. And then same thing, tilt down. You can turn it either way. You know, turn it just like that, all directions. And of course, you're gonna hold up your nice and do it so you can look up that way. Turn, look up, look down, down. All right. So there's what you can do by yourself. Next, if you've got a bench at the gym with my clients, we use the massage table because it's a lot larger. But if you got a bench, same thing. So you're here. You're just gonna grab the bench. Now you're anchoring that arm over, give it a pull. Same thing, you can kind of look up, kind of look down. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to go for a longer period of time. I'm just showing you what to do. Then when you've got that large bench, you can grab all the way back in that corner and do that same thing. Now, if you've got a partner, we can take that stretch even further. So you have a partner, and this is the one I do with my clients. Now we have a partner with us. You're gonna grab, you're gonna pull, and your partner is going to push that shoulder down. So you're going to be here, and then someone's going to push that shoulder down and give you an even deeper stretch. And of course, it's gentle. You don't just start pushing on it because then you can stretch that muscle too hard. And it's going to tighten up on you, possible injury. So we're here, and then that partner's going to slightly push down. Even here, I'm getting a nice stretch in my bicep once we lock that arm in, even down in the forearm. Once again, other tight areas of someone who's sitting at a computer desk or if your arms are 
You know, you're like this, your biceps always engaged slightly when you're typing. So we're here, we're locked in. Hold, same thing. You're gonna grab back on a bench, do the same thing. That partner is going to slightly push. If you wanna get an even better stretch, you can lock in and your partner can push here and the partner can push your head. You don't even have to grab your head. So the partner can push it to himself. But once again, it's just something you gotta be very, very careful when you have someone else doing these things because if they do it incorrectly, you could possibly get injured. All right, so there you go. Like I said, great stretches for someone that has you know, tight neck, tight neck muscles, a lot of headaches, neck pain, shoulder pain, shooting chest pain, things like that. This is really gonna help you out. This is something, hey, you know, it's, it's always good when you have your, get your family involved in things. So this is something you and your wife could even do, excuse me, at home, you and your child. Something like that. So once again, I hope this helps. Subscribe to the channel. Share and like these videos.